you to I own a house for allowing me to review some cars today. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, today we have the keys to a Bentley GT. Let's check this out. This button here is to flip the key up. Let's do that again. Oh, let's go. That's so sick. That's so sick. Here's the car. We'll do a quick walk around and then get her started up. Yo, yo, this car. <laughs> yo, it's a Bentley, man. <laughs> They're allowing me to review a Bentley. Yo. Yo, this car is crazy. Let's get her started up. I'm excited for this one. Alright, so we just got the car started on. Yo, this thing sounds so beastly. Holy cow. Yo, let's, let's just take a look at the exterior first as I um, turn on the lights and the hazards. Let's take a look. Very nice, very unique um, Bentley design. A quite a large chrome grille. And then you got more down here. Um, all, most of the vents are um, functional. There is like a tiny bit over here that is not. Same with that side. But the ones on the very edge are also functional. Got huge rims, 20 inch P0 tires. These are very nice rims. Um, definitely one of my favorites for Bentley. You can see the disc brakes are absolutely ginormous. And then the brake caliber says Bentley on it. Dude. What a nice bag. This is a very nice bag. Holy cow. As we walk around to the rear, of course you have the Bentley taillights with the oval shapes. You can't really see it right now because it's really sunny. Uh, sorry for the wind, it's pretty windy today. But the turning signals are down here. Of course you got the oval shaped exhaust pedal. Let's see inside. Yeah, so you got dual pipes inside. And then the whole kind of exhaust. We'll take a look at the hood and the trunk later on. Some revs later on. But yeah, this is a very nice spec. Also what I noticed is um, there's this chrome piece that goes along. And it starts in the front over here and then it goes all the way to the rear. Very nice touch. I like how it's not just the middle, like it, it continues throughout the entire body. So we'll hop in and take a look. Over here you got a badge saying speed. Very nice red leather. Oh wow, so cushiony, yo, bro. Holy cow. And then you got a dip. Alright, let's hop in. Let's roll up the windows. They are not automatic. You have to hold them to have the have the windows go up and then to the left here you got chrome plated um, buttons for your windows your trunk your fuel cap key slot is over here bro this car is so nice here let's let's just pan this out a little so you guys could see hopefully the camera picks up the details piano black over here Wow, holy cow. <laughs> I, I knew Bentleys were nice, but 
I've never been in one, so being in one is so cool. Down here, you got electronic uh, powering, tilt, tilt and power uh, steering wheel. Of course, because it's a Bentley, um, you're gonna get you're not gonna get a manual one. You're not gonna get a manual one. Um, but yeah, your typical controls. The steering wheel is also heated. This is a very nice steering wheel. Um, of course, the badge probably makes this <laughs> steering wheel very nice. Um, like without this badge, um, it's I would say an all right steering wheel, but with this badge, yo, complete game changer. <laughs> Actually, oh, interesting. The paddle shifters are like really far out. I, I don't even know what angle to point this at. See, like the steering wheel is here. And it's like right behind, it's like, yeah, like right behind the steering wheel. And it extends out really far. Um, it's quite nice, although the the paddles are a bit small, like it's the size of my pointing finger. I mean, I guess there's probably extensions for it in the aftermarket if you want it larger, but these are what you get. They do feel really nice though. Moving on to the gauges. Oh, it's a bit sunny. But pretty simple, simple gauges. I don't like how there's orange though. That's just me. That's just my preference. Um, I just hate orange, but it is what it is. Of course, you have the Bentley clock. Pretty nice clock, I would say. And then these vents, I... Oh, wow. Look at these vents. Yo, this design is so cool. This design is so cool. I really like these things. They look, <laughs> they, they look really cool. I don't know, there's just something about them. Maybe because it's a Bentley, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I, was, I was really excited that I'm in a Bentley that everything just looks cool. All right, so down here in the center console, there's like a whole bunch of buttons. I'm not exactly, okay. Um, so this is like, depends on the, driver I guess I have no idea so you have to turn on the fan first before you could use these controls over here um very weird I, I would say this weird design because your button is here but your logo is your icon is here which I mean I feel like you don't it, it is a, a bit outdated design, I guess, but I don't know whoever who thought of this, but you can easily just put this over here and then have a button for that and then have this a lar larger, I guess. But I guess the designer uh, wanted to separate them. Of course, this entire thing is um, piano black, except for this... Uh, infotainment part you got your ac navigation trip info okay let's just see um definitely seems like a outdated navigation system although it works it definitely works let's go to trip your basic uh trip monitoring system info vehicle Currently this tire pressure is a bit low. So it actually tells you over here and also up on the dash. Got your phone and your audio. Your electronic parking plate. This is to adjust your mirrors, as you could see. Very, very interesting that the mirror controls are actually in the middle. I've never seen that before, but I guess that works. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Down here, you got the engine start stop, your, your heated seats, adjustable suspension, and what's this? Hold, oh, bro. Yo, this is the wing. This is the wing. Yo. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's 
very nice and then you could also control the raise and lower the vehicle cool cool oh oh my favorite my favorite is this it oh wow wait this is wait hold up hold up what yo you have a phone <laughs> yo you have a phone in here oh, who do you call wait what the heck well you you don't really like in a limousine it would make sense to have a phone so you get called to the people in the back but the back seats are right here um what, what's a what's this phone does this actually act as a phone to call someone holy shoot <laughs> yo yo okay i did not expect that i did not expect that let's see what what's on this side okay there's nothing on this side i guess you could store some stuff and then is there a way okay okay so you left up okay oh oh these basically act as a armrest okay so you pull them all the way back boom okay cool so you can basically just open one side to go into the storage room okay this is a neat feature except um let's say let's say you want to open the storage and you want to put something in the storage you can't just push the armrest back down you have to pull it all the way up and then it goes down um I'm not sure if I, I actually like that, uh, cause um, shoot, that that that's like work. That's work. Like every time I put something, is like I have to open it all the way, instead of just halfway and then closing it, cause it it won't close. It won't close. You have to go all the way. Boom. Although I guess, yeah, the good part is you could individually open uh, each side that's the plus to it the downside is you have to fold it all the way up which is a bit of a hassle I would say not not convenient that's for sure as I talked about the seats before uh, when, when I climbed in yo these seats are one of the best seats I know I say a lot about seats like I like the seats and the seats are really comfortable you have to believe me on this one you have to believe me on this one it's a Bentley okay I just don't really know how to describe it I guess the way it hugs you the way it feels on your butt um, <laughs> I could see I could see myself riding in this car for like over 10 hours without my butt hurting and that's a plus it feels my car uh, seats are a bit hard um, after, after three three hours of driving man my butt's all sore and stuff but this thing, yo, this thing, you could probably ride this at least 10 hours. Um, on the left here, there's buttons for the rear uh, front windows and also the rear windows, which I'll show you right now, the rear windows. Boom. So the, wow, there's like no frame after, yeah, there's no frame at all, actually. Oh, cow. Yo, this is really cool. And then this is the front one. So if you want to do the front one, let's jump into the rear and uh, see how it feels. All right, now trying to get into the back. I think we pull this up. Yep, that goes forward. Let it stay, please. Let it stay. Okay. And then we press this button to move it forward. All right, sitting in the back. Um, immediately, what I notice is there's not too much of a leg room and at the bottom where the foot is um there's like a thing that kind of blocks your feet from extending a bit further um so in terms of sitting back here it it's not as comfortable um yeah i don't know it's it's a bit interesting actually and the seats are a tiny bit upright but i guess it's because of the slope of the roof if they put the roof a bit further back then your head will definitely hit um right now my my head is actually 
just about to hit. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm 5'10 and my hair is kind of brushing against the roof already. So if you're a bit taller, um, you might not feel a bit too comfortable back here. Uh, definitely, yeah, the, the leg room is a bit on the more upright side. You can't really extend your leg. But it is a coupe, so can't expect too much, I guess. You do have um, you do have a window control back here, so you could control the rear window. Yeah, um, to sum it up, in the back, it's not definitely nowhere near as comfortable as uh, the front seats, but it's. I mean, I guess you are in a Bentley, or if you have the mindset of being in a Bentley, maybe you won't care as much, but. I don't know, I don't know. This one's actually a bit hard. Like, for a car this expensive, I think I would prefer, you know, something a bit more comfortable back here. Because Bentley is built for luxury, right? Um, enough of me rambling on. Let's, take, let's give this car some revs, and then we'll take a look at the hood and the trunk. I actually had to Google this. <laughs> you have to pull on the Bentley badge to open the hood. <laughs> I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. <laughs> All right, so here is a very ginormous Bentley engine, 6.0 liter twin turbo. Very nice. Yeah, you, you have your Bentley symbol there. And it says Bentley. Very cool. Let's close her up. Now let's take a look at the trunk. Alright, so the trunk is pretty pretty deep actually. Like I'm just gonna move the box in and you get to see like this is a gigantic boot holy shoe i mean i guess i guess it's because um the seats are pushed a bit forward so your trunk is actually really big although the entry is a bit a bit smaller so it's not bad it's not bad but i feel like it could be it could have been a lot smaller um <laughs> but this, you could probably fit like four golf bags in here if you really want. But yeah, you guys got the boot close. And that is it for the car. I, I think this is a really cool car. I mean, it is a Bentley, so it's got, it's got something behind it, you know? It's not just your average normal car. This car probably costs a lot. I don't know what the window sticker is, but you know, if you want this car, come check it out. I think it looks really great. But anyways, that, that's it for this video. I was really excited to uh, review this car. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.
if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.